Hi, welcome to the Old China Art Asset Overview. In this video I'll be taking a look at the objects in this set to give you a rough idea of what's available. The most common objects in this level are the pavement blocks. There are edge and corner pieces as well as inside bits. The difference between these objects is just that some of the sides are lined with tiles while others are flat. Under the Buddha here is a pavement block with tiles on all of its sides. You can see that all the pavement objects are using the same texture. These steps use the same texture and if you look in the object browser here, I also have some low lying walls made out of the same material. This stone railing that surrounds the edge of these pavement blocks is just made from three pieces. You've got your length section, your half length section, and then just the post on its own. A lot of my objects are designed to be tiled in a single direction. For example, this roof is just a series of length segments. Its design makes it hard to tile in multiple directions, so I decided to create three sizes of roof object. Here are various length, end and corner sections for you to use. Ok, let's take a look at the inside of this building. For the ceiling we've got these square tiles. Um, various wall sections. And uh, on the floor we've got these oblong panels. There you go. The walls have half length sections, as well as a door frame object. Hang on, let me just get it out for you. There you go. Over here are some simple doors by the way, though they don't share their texture with the wall object. Here I've got some quarter high wall sections and on top I've put some window panels. I created these objects because I wanted to replicate the windows in one of my reference images. It shares its texture with these paper panels here. Now let's take a look at the furniture. There's a red set and a black set. All the furniture objects are grouped together in the object browser, so you shouldn't have trouble finding what you need. If you look at the first word in this naming convention, it actually refers to the texture file associated with that object. So if you yeah, just look at the first words and you can see what objects share the same texture. Here are some small props. They're all grouped up like the furniture, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding what you need out of them. Back outside the building, we have these sets of pillars going all the way around the edge. They were originally intended for a balcony object, but I decided to separate them so you could choose only to include the parts that you wanted. Out here, I've made these small shelters. Um, the roof is just made from four corner sections rotated round. You've already seen some of this stuff. But yeah, underneath we got some new objects. I'd like to say that I'm aware that this isn't a proper game of Go. This is how the game is presented in the film Hero, which I used for reference. The object is intended purely for decoration, as the pieces are combined with the board itself. However, I decided to include the separated pieces as well as a 9x9 and a 19x19 version of the board. Underneath the game I have this stone furniture and there's also a bench over here. This column in stone base is just one object, as is this wooden lattice here. If you look in the object browser, you'll see that I've made a bunch of wooden lettuce arrangements for you to use. These bridges tile slightly differently to the other objects. 
They have length and end sections, but they also have these posts which tail vertically. Up here is a gong, and a couple of other objects you've already seen. I think that's about it for the man-made objects. Um, oh, over here is a low-lying wall. It has a similar texture to the roof object, it's just got this brown wooden bit at the bottom. Also there's these raised deck objects. These are good for going around buildings that are on slightly uneven terrain, such as grass. Okay, for the natural objects I've basically got three kinds of tree. Down on the ground here I've got these bamboo. And up here I've got these trees which I just called bonsai but they're not really bonsai. If you look at the object browser you'll see that I've made several variations of each. I've also made these bush objects for the bonsai and cherry blossoms. You can see the bonsai bush in the level here. The rocks underneath all of this, by the way, are just ones that all be made with a colour tint on them. Um, if you really want to know what they are, you can pull them out and have a look. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'll be making my files available via the secret pre-order forum as usual. See ya!